Hi, welcome to the first and possibly only ever heavily scripted episodes of the Sounds from the Ziggurat podcast. I will be using this platform to play some of my favourite tracks, mostly from Brighton bands that existed in the 2000s, as this was an era very important to me and my musical development. There will be no genre limitations and we will hear a wide range of production values too, from professionally recorded music to hissing, four track bedroom recordings taken from a cracked cassette where I had to reel in the tape with a pencil. This was a time where the Palace Pier was controversially renamed Brighton Pier. You can have a decent night out for 10 quid, and you had 46% less chance of catching cholera from the Pav Tav, but unfortunately, 69% more chance of catching it from the Hobgoblin. Brighton has always been a creative and evolving place with an ever-changing music scene. I first experienced this in the late 90s when my friends' bands were playing their first gigs at the Freebutt, and I was able to drink copious amounts of £2.50 Newcastle Brown Ale without the need for ID. The pocket change I had on me from working part-time at Summerfields on London Road went a long, long way, and I still get ID'd more times now than I did when I was 15. Also, I'm hoping to speak to various promoters, band members and friends who would have been playing and hosting shows of their own in and around Brighton at this time. We'll find out some of their thoughts on the Brighton music scene past and present, and probably indulge in some sort of reckless self-promotion. In all likelihood, we'll meet up for drinks, get spannered, and talk nonsense. I want to start with a track from a band that my old band Inferion had the pleasure of playing alongside numerous times in the early 2000s, primarily at the Pressure Point venue, which is now called the Richmond. Back before it was called the Pressure Point, it was also called the Richmond. Exactly. After the Pressure Point sadly closed its doors in 2009, the upstairs became a hostel and downstairs became the bar and reception area. It was like this for a few years, but now the downstairs has reopened up to the public as a live music venue again. This is fantastic as there was a period of time where many venues in the town were closing their doors and there was an underlying worry that it might not stop. The legendary Freebutt was one of the venues that succumbed to this fate due to the complaints of tenants that had moved into new flats built nearby. Thankfully there is a movement gathering momentum now which is trying to put legislation into place to stop this from happening or at the very least slow it down. It's called the Agent of Change and it boils down to this. Agent of Change says that the person or business responsible for the change is responsible for managing the impact of the change. So certainly some positive steps are being taken. Right, so the first track is from A Citizen Above Suspicion. Unfortunately the band, primarily comprised of brothers Paul and Ross, are no longer together, but you can still get their music for free online at acitizenabovesuspicion.co.uk. This track was my first introduction to them back in 2003 and it blew me away. It was heavy, melodic, with a sort of sinister and maniacal edge that drew me in. This is 10 Steps to a Healthy Mind. Yeah. 
The next track comes from another band that my band Inferion supported many times over the years, again mainly at the pressure point. Their lead singer Gaz had approached me and some friends in the Gladstone pub one evening after literally seeing our influences in our sleeves, or rather at the front of our shirts. He was at the time trying to drum up interest in his alternative club night, but since then we have worked together on tracks, shared the stage on numerous occasions and have become really good friends. Dry Rise had many lineup changes over the years, including myself, but their output consistently rocked and their professionalism was second to none. This is the big I am. was Dry Rise with The Big I Am. I chose to play that particular song as it was one that just captured an era for me. The early 2000s is when I really started playing in more and more pubs, networking with new musicians and most importantly transforming some of these people into lifelong friends. Dry Rise submitted this track to Scuzz TV as part of one of their competitions and although they didn't win they did get their video on rotation on the channel and continue to reach new audiences across the country. Hopefully on another episode of Sounds from the Ziggurat podcast, I'll feature some dry rise material from later on in the band's life that perhaps went under the radar in contrast to the behemoth that was this single. Cable Club, Drums and Wires, Numbskull HQ, Villarreal and the Lightning Department. Various bands, promotions and club nights orchestrated by Simon Parker. 
Simon gave Infurion and many other local bands our first gigs in Brighton. He had faith, commitment, and from what I've learned since after putting on gigs, the knowledge that new bands can often bring big crowds. His cable club nights at the Pressure Point heralded some of the best acts and musicians from all over Britain, and some that would go on to become regular physical media player fixtures, such as Kasabian, Cribs and Bat for Lashes. He has written a book on his early life and successes in and out of bands, and now co-runs Vinyl Revolution in Duke Street with his partner Rachel and Treacle the Dog. The next track is one of my favourites by Villarreal, and it's on the album Blue Snakes. It's called The Seventh. By the new daylight That maybe will slip away When everybody's head is burned Gravity, it's safe Maybe we have all been Maybe we have all been turned I also want to use the show to highlight something new. Rapsgallion is a tea drinking, melt your face with riffs chap rock band who want you bloody well getting rock and rolled tonight. He is one of my best friends and I'm excited to have the opportunity to play this song from the upcoming album. Put your horns in the air and bang your head proudly. This is Anthem de la Rapsgallion.
intend to amuse you. We're glad you attended, but step right up to the front for maximum splendor. This is the time, and it's time to begin. Fix your tides and descend from your chin. Give us a chance, 'cause if you enjoy, there's one damn thing that I can show. Your bloody well gets you rock and roll. Seriously awesome stuff that fans of guitars, hot beverages and tight stage wear will be singing along to in years to come. Find out more at facebook.com forward slash the band Rapscallion and the Bandcamp page rapscallionrsplendid.bandcamp.com. They sure are. Now for our last track of the Sounds from the Ziggurat podcast. Originally forming under the moniker Kubrick, I first witnessed the powerful vocal of Adrian Imms roar out indie pop melodies to the sound of ragingly thespian distorted guitars at long lost but not forgotten venue The Free Rut. I would also have the pleasure of sharing the stage with the band at the Portland Rock Bar in Hove, which is again sadly no longer with us. Turncoat, by their own admission, experienced it all, from the highs of being signed to EMI to those very lows of being dropped by EMI during the recession. They supported the likes of Electric Soft Parade, Kasabian and The Ordinary Boys, and amusingly, according to their still active Facebook page, got to share the backstage area with Kate Moss at Glastonbury when playing alongside Baby Shambles. Eventually in 2010 they recorded and self-released the brilliant Adventure in Skill and Chance. This is Wasted on You.
should I have to feel such pain? When I don't want to feel like it again But people around me seem to Change, 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 change When their lives are not the same, 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 same again I'm left to feel the pain again Okay, so that's it for this episode. Thanks for listening. Please feel free to leave abuse in the comments where applicable, or preferably your own stories of the Brighton music scene, past and present. If you have any suggestions of bands from the era I should check out, as well as any CDs and vinyl I should get my hands on, they would be most welcome. You can find me via my Twitter, at the underscore ziggurat. Part two in this series will follow shortly and feature some more great tracks from the likes of Insofar, My Device, Best Left Dead, and more. Thanks again for listening. See you soon.